good show every night. Good show every night. Bang, zoom, crazy. We're cheap trick. It's a it's a pretty good band, you know. Without bragging, it, yeah, no, it's a really good band, and it's like we, we get to play cool stuff. <laughs> we have great fans all over all over the world, and we're we, it seems like we we make more fans than than enemies all the time. So it's like it's, it's been fantastic. Okay, well, the tour that we're doing is with uh, Cheap Trick and Heart. And we're going to be out for three months in July, August, and September. And it should be a great tour. You know, it's a lot of hits from three really uh, good bands. Perfect. OK. Good. Good. Yep. We've been off the road, this is the longest I've been off the road in probably 12 years of touring, so ever. So we've been off the road for about four months just working on the music, working on the tour, um, you know, new album, new staging, new set, new lights, video, new, just everything's totally brand new. So we're all like so excited to get back on the road and uh, fire this thing up. It just seems to make sense. It's funny. I've been friends with those guys for 20 years, and we've, I think we've done a total of two shows together on like different radio festivals. So uh, Adam and I just thought it would be a good idea just so we could catch up and spend the summer together. Where do you plan on going? What's the tour like? Um, it's all over the country, mostly outdoor venues, You know, uh, places like Jones Beach and Red Rocks and PNC here in Jersey. Um, I mean, that's, that's really the whole reason to do the summer tour, is so you can get outside for a change. Because as musicians, we don't get outside a lot. Uh, tour with me and Snoop Dogg. It starts on July 20th. It's called The High Road. Me, Snoop, Janae Aiko, Casey Veggies, Kevin Gates. It's going to be crazy. What is going on in there? I make my own juice. You do? Oh, oh, I love it, yeah. I don't even know what to say about it all because, you know, two of the three are my favorites in life and influenced me heavily. And Glenn Fry, I've always been a fan of. And uh, it's just. Um, what have I taken from them all? I mean, different things from them all, but what's been taken from us is beautiful, awesome, incredible music. And it's always so stunning, even though you know it's bound to happen someday. But, you know, I, I think Prince really threw everybody for a loop because nobody was expecting him. He looked so healthy and, you know, it just really seemed to hit people hard. <laughs> What do you remember most about him? Well, I had the chance to do a side project band with some members of the New Power Generation uh, called Nick Jones the Administration. And um, incredible to hear their stories about the kind of person he was and, and obviously what an amazing, brilliant artist he was. Uh, and, you know, I, I think more than anything, I'm, I'm happy to celebrate his life and his work um, and just have, grateful to be a fan. Any music you're going to be playing on your tour, for instance? Uh, I did a cover at, at Jazz Fest of uh, I Would Die For You and uh, Purple Rain. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure about the tour, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Last night you were at the Met Ball. Yeah. What was that experience like? It was cool, man. A lot of hot chicks. Yeah. Who's the hottest? Um. Who was the hottest? There was a couple of them. I'm trying to figure out who was the hottest, though. Nah, see, I like numbers, so I can't just do one. Was it your Kanye's eyes? Hups. Don't ask me about that guy. <laughs>